deeper than that, really. I think people... I've never regretted giving anybody anything more than I have regretted my gift to Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> You're still hung up I'm on that. I'm still huh? hung up on it. That damn. <laughs> this well, at is least not... he said thank you. Yeah, it was that. It was that. It was that. That I never got a thank you for it. Do you? I, mean, oh. I think you have to tell the story now. I here. gave him the weekend. The weekend of um, of his running. I was trying to cement in his mind. You have run a an honorable race. I don't agree with you on everything, but. Please understand the time that we're at, and if you win, you have to be George Washington. You have to be a guy who understands the principles. And I gave him the farewell address because in George Washington's farewell address, it um, it says everything that's wrong with the country right now. If you would just follow his farewell address, we would be we would be a country that was would be pulled back from the brink. And um, I gave it to his son, and I said, "This is my personal copy." It's a first edition. They're really rare and expensive. And uh, never even got a thank you note. (laughs) Never even got a thank you note. Pisses me off to this day. And the more I find out about Mitt Romney, the more it pisses me off. (laughs) That he didn't say Uh, thank you? Well, yeah, you'd start with that. Yeah, I just never... Never got a thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this just seems... I don't know if this seems... uh, Petty? Personal? Petty? It's petty. Personal. Is it? I don't know if it's a petty. It's a first edition copy of George Washington's farewell address. It doesn't seem petty. Yeah, I'd like it back. It, what would it cost? It like twenty bucks, thirty bucks? <laughs> yeah, it was like thirty dollars. So if we sent it back to you, you, you would accept that. I would gladly, gladly accept, accept that. I would gladly accept right. that. How do we know? Uh, what was it like? Josh Romney isn't just like he went right to eBay with that thing. How do I don't even know Mick got it. We don't even know. Well, uh, there was somebody that <laughs> tweeted a picture of Anne on the plane reading it. Somebody, I saw a tweet oh, really? where oh. she was reading it. Okay, well, that's thanks well, enough that's, right there. Yeah, you got to tweet. <laughs> you got that's your no, thank no, you no, right no, there. No, Anne, honey, sweetheart, it was for your husband to read. <laughs> your husband needed to read that. If your husband would have read that, it might he might have done a little bit better on mm-hmm. the last, I agree with you or where you're going on foreign wars. I, You know what? You and I, were, <laughs> there's no reason to even vote for me because I am right with you on foreign wars. <laughs> I will say read that. I, I might, have, it might have gone a little differently. Who's really at fault here, though? Because I believe you delivered it to him after that debate. I know. I, so it's uh, really your fault we're in the place we're in. I should have given him a zero, a bad mimeograph copy. <laughs> this is a first edition mimeograph of George Washington's farewell address. <laughs> okay. Um, really, who am I mad at? It's not Mitt. <laughs>